I'm here at HPE Discover in Madrid with Natalia Vasilova, and deep learning is something obviously that HP has spent a lot of time investing in research and, and you are part of that team. What is your deep learning cookbook? Uh, first of all, I think we need to understand what deep learning is. Okay, so, so, so we'll back up. What is deep learning? Uh, deep learning is a subset of machine learning algorithms which uses uh, very complex models, so deep artificial neural networks which are much more sophisticated than the traditional models with the traditional machine learning algorithms. And in order to train that model, uh, you need a lot of computational resources and a lot of data. Uh, the, however, for different uh, applications, for different use cases, you will use different models. So some examples where deep learning is used today is speech recognition. Do you use Siri? I, I do. That's powered by deep learning. Do you have a profile on Facebook? Um, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you upload your photos there? Usually, have you, yeah. Have you wondered how it tells you where the face of your friends are and actually sometimes helps you to tag them? That's also powered by deep learning. Okay. There are automatic machine translators. There are a lot of applications where deep learning is used. But for every, that, uh, for every application, you usually train the model on different data and you have slightly different variations of the model. So the question which we are trying to address with the deep learning cookbook is what is the optimal configuration of the hardware and software to train a model for a particular use case? How many servers will you need? How many GPUs per server? What's the optimal interconnect? Do you need to connect them with Ethernet, with InfiniBand, so you get there uh, as much as you can from your infrastructure? Will it help you to add one more node to your cluster to speed up your training or to speed up your inference, the prediction part, or not? These questions we are answering with cookbook. So the cookbook provides you kind of recipes how to build your hardware and software stack for the deep learning workload. So this isn't so much a, a, a cookbook for the software side of the equation. It's a cookbook for how do you how do you define the or define the infrastructure so that you're able to then run the software. Mostly yes, but we also um, in, in our cookbook we benchmark uh, a lot of uh, common commonly used libraries for deep learning, and we can provide advices based on their use case which framework works better. So again, if you do speech recognition, one particular example, probably Kaldi, one of the open source uh, frameworks which is targeted to speech recognition will be a better way to go. If you do image recognition, then you pick up uh, other, like TensorFlow or Cafe, and they can say for which use case, which one, which frameworks provides better results, which one scales better to multiple devices. Very cool. All right, thank you. Thank you.